Hey folks, Jim Thomas here, Fitness Management and Consulting, and I appreciate you being here at the channel today. And for those of you that have not yet done so, you know, please hit that subscribe button. I appreciate it. And if you find the information that I provide beneficial, please hit that like button. Now, our topic for you today, it's the four primary goals of the daily gym sales meeting. The four primary goals. What are we looking to accomplish when we have these meetings? And I know so many facilities do not have these meetings and those that do so many folks don't like going to them okay and so one of the things that i used to look at you know when i would conduct these kind of meetings and even still when we do this is i want the person to feel better leaving than they did when they came in i want to be able to give them enough information that when they leave hey they're confident now they're ready to do business and um and uh, you know get the job done right for the company so let's talk about you know the four primary goals of this daily gym sales meeting so number one on our list these are in no particular order okay number one on our list is communicate business updates okay you know what kind of updates do you have you know maybe is it time for a club enhancement to come out okay is that being debited that'd be a good thing to know uh, and how do you deal with that okay how do we communicate that uh, do we have club enhancement going on inside the gym? Do we have special marketing programs? Do we have uh, new equipment coming in? Do we have new equipment being repaired? Um, you know, what's going on? But anything within the company, within the organization, let's provide these business updates so that everybody knows. You know, one of the kind of general problems that I see a lot of times in facilities is only certain people. In, in the club itself kind of know what's happening and we want to get everybody on the same page because ultimately if you want to really grow sales production we want everyone moving together so make sure you communicate you know the business updates and what's going on it could be how to handle customer service how do we handle a complaint I mean, there's a host of things that we can talk about in terms of business updates number two is we want to reinforce training you know, training is a component of every single thing that we do. We constantly train. And training, you know, telephone inquiries, the outbound call, uh, you know, how to follow up, uh, the sales process, how to get a referral, how to show personal training, um, you know, just the whole thing in general is train on a regular basis on this. Every, every meeting you have should have some component of training to it. And one of the simplest and easiest, depending on kind of where you're at with it, is role play. I mean, today we're going to role play the telephone inquiry. And I know for me, you know, I, w I always want to put people in a position, you know, really to have success at this. I'm not trying to catch them uh, doing something wrong. I want to catch them doing something right. So I might tell them, hey, next week we're going to role play the telephone inquiry. Memorize it, practice it, know it, because I'll be calling on you. And so, great, if they do that, maybe they're doing it because I'm going to call on them, but if they memorize it and do it, guess what? They're probably going to do a pretty good job you know, with the customer. So I'm going to reinforce training. Training is a component of everything that I do. Number three, I'm going to provide accountability for the various activities. I'm going to provide accountability. And I'm going to you know, go over this accountability, and part of this accountability is the role play okay because if you have to get up and role play this in front of your peers that is accountability and it's pretty good accountability uh, in reality but the other thing i'm going to do is maybe we're going to review daily productivity sheets and uh, review your crm and i want to see how many new leads are we bringing in i want to see how many daily calls are we making how many contacts are we making? How many appointments are we getting? What are we doing for daily prospecting? You know, how are we doing uh, in understanding our projections and what those numbers are like versus our goals? How do we manage based on those objectives? Um, I'm going to look at guest registers. I'm going to look at telephone inquiry log sheets and what's our show percentage. But we're going to look at all of that. We're going to talk about all that. And we want to make sure that we are staying true to certain metrics and staying true to certain key performance indicators on this to make sure that we are staying uh, staying on track. Okay, Because if we don't, it's easy to get off track on this. So provide accountability for the activities that you want. And you know, one of the, the great you know, phrases on this is what we want to make sure that we do, the person given the meeting, whoever is new in charge, is we want to inspect what we expect. 
We want to follow up. You know, too many times in these meetings, we'll, we'll kind of give the directive, but then we never actually follow up ourselves. And so let's make sure not only do we follow up as part of this meeting, but also in the course of the week as we're doing things. You know, one of the things that remains true is that your silence, if you're the boss, your silence is acceptance. You know, if you're asking for certain things to be done and you see that it's not being done and you have silence, you're saying you accept it. Now, that doesn't mean we're, you know, putting folks in a headlock, okay, but we sit down and we train, okay? Because ultimately, winning attitude, following the process, you know, you're going to have success. And then finally, number four is we want to motivate the team to succeed. You know, the, the, the core definition uh, that, that we use is that, you know, the core definition of management is we want to create an atmosphere that allows a motivated person to act. That's what our job is. And part of that is, you know, enforcing the process, making sure we're staying on track with it, okay? It's, you know, making sure that we have this winning attitude, but to really motivate the team, you know, show appreciation. Ask people, hey, what is your opinion? What do you think? How would you handle this? What would you like to do? Hey, thank you for that sale, okay? Those are some great things that work. Okay, and I know I talk to a lot of folks that don't like to do that, and their argument to me is, well, Jim, if I do that, they might let up. Okay, and personally, I've not found that to be true. I find that I found that the more people feel appreciated, the more they do. Okay, if they're going the other direction, they probably were going to go the other direction anyway and had nothing to do with, you know, you saying thank you. So, you know, saying thank you, showing appreciation, creating that environment, that allows a motivated person to act. And part of that environment is a discipline to the process. We wanna stay disciplined to the process. And as I like to look at it, looking at say your gym, your facility, you know, kind of view it like a train going down the track and we wanna pat it a little bit here and pat it a little bit here just to keep it going straight. Okay, that's what we're trying to do. So four primary goals of the gym sales meeting. We wanna communicate business updates. We want to reinforce training. We want to provide accountability, you know, for all these activities and things we want them to do. And we want to motivate the team to succeed. So take a look at that. If you're the boss or you aspire to be, you know, how are we doing on that? And if we need some work on it, you know, let's go to work on it right now. And you'll start to see a difference in how your staff performs. So folks, my name is Jim Thomas. My company is Fitness Management and Consulting. Uh, you can learn more about my company uh, in the links below. We appreciate you being here at the video today and we'll look forward to seeing you all next time.